it comes to government spending, what's the very basic math of the problem we've gotten ourselves into? Let's take a look. Each day during the month of November, the government brought in a little more than $5 billion of revenue. It's a lot of money. But we spent more than $11 billion a day. The difference, as you can clearly see, is roughly $6 billion. So how can we keep spending more than we take in? Economists we talked to said it's simple. We can't. So the government spends more than $11 billion a day. Where does the majority of that money go? Here are the top four outlays. At the top of the list, the Department of Health and Human Services, which goes through $3 billion of your tax dollars a day. Social Security is a close second at $2.5 billion daily. Keeping us safe, the Department of Defense, military programs come in at $1.8 billion daily. But economists say most concerning of all is number four down there at the bottom, the smallest daily outlay of this group, dropping down to $854 million a day. But we don't get anything for that. That's $854 million of interest that our country pays on our debt every single day. Former Democratic that Senator actually, Evan Bond. We can't keep borrowing like this or we're going to have the same problems that, that Europe has had. And that's one of the frustrating things, Brent. This is not theoretical. This is not a classroom exercise. You can look at Europe and see what happens if we continue down this path very much longer. That's a place we don't want to go. Alice Rivlin, Bill Clinton's budget director, puts the bulk of the spending problem on the promises made under Medicare, Medicaid, and to a lesser extent, Social Security. They'll drive federal spending up faster than our economy can grow, and revenues won't keep up. So we have a problem. If you don't uh, have enough uh, revenues to pay for the spending, you have to borrow. And on the track that we're on, if we go on doing what is in the law uh, over the next several decades, our public debt will rise faster than our economy can grow. Uh, when that happens, you've got a real problem because you've got to pay interest on that debt and your creditors see that your debt's rising faster than your uh, economy is growing, uh, so they charge more and more. And uh, it's a very bad situation. Arthur Brooks with the American Enterprise yeah, Institute finds current debates about higher taxes misguided with federal spending on overdrive. It's as simple as a family that does that and, and the problem is right now that you have a situation in which the government in, in its overspending ways tries to rationalize it by saying that actually the problem is that we're under taxing the American public. Uh, it's, it's like your irresponsible brother-in-law runs up his credit cards and goes bust and says the real problem is because you stopped sending me checks. You know, it's, it's crazy. You, that's irresponsible. I mean, we've become a kind of a debtor nation that has this mentality that if only we could squeeze more money out of people who are working and, and are working and honestly earning their living, that we could solve this problem. The truth of the matter is our country spends too much. And this note, you can watch the entire cost of spending series on foxnews.com slash special report.